Okay. I have something to confess. And what that thing is I have to confess is that I'm I get in the for pick sometimes. In fact, sometimes I just get downright native in general. Um so sometimes I just hate the human race. I feel like Disgusting in some ways, must have tried to get to mistake. I mean, I have seen the things people have done to me, to others. Um, I don't like the fact that people kill, mur kill, blue, rape, steal, kidnap. Enslave, pick on, exploit. I don't like that stuff. And that's a big reason why I'm a sample pick. Sometimes. I'm working on not being a sample pick. And sometimes I'm just playing na native, not about the, like, not just about the human race, but that's in general. That's when I'm talking on the phone to my friends. I don't bring up a whole lot of happy stuff. Just a whole lot of bad stuff. So I'm trying to work on that. There are good people out there. And there's still hope. There's still things I can do to make it better. Make the world a better place. I just can't do much right now since I'm with my parents. Going to college and stuff. I... I um... Also have something called Asperger's syndrome and ADHD on top of that and OCD and even some other stuff. So Asperger's syndrome, as you probably know, is a social disorder that you don't socialize with people that well, or at least he can have some idiocracy, idiocracy, he can act kind of weird to people, you know, um, following social norms, which happened to me before, and, um, kind of hard sometimes, you know, times I go off about Certain subject to go on a tangent, just talking about it. I'm like, it's so important. Not that many people care about it. I get on my soapbox sometimes. It's a good thing. I don't agree with your life. Lost my chapstick. Um. I've been bullied. Not exactly for having Asperger's syndrome, but rather the results of it. Sometimes I dance around at STEM, as it's called, just doing these weird erratic movements. And I got people's negative attention and they're talking about weird things. And one time I goofed off in class a lot with my own weird way. I really annoyed this girl. Her name's Brooke Ford. Annoyed the crap out of her in elementary school. Not on purpose, but in a wrong way. I wanted to apologize to her in middle school, but I never worked up the nerve to talk to her. Now I don't know where the hell she is now. She gave me this dirty look every time I said something particularly dumb or useless or just plain weird. I asked her why do you have to keep giving me that look? Do you have to keep giving me that look? And she's like, I don't know. She told me off in some way. It didn't feel good. Nothing feels good. And um pretty much it about Asperger's. 
you can stand, talk about things too much, not get social cues, and people are getting annoyed or uncomfortable, blah, blah, blah. You probably heard it all. Um, personally, I'm okay with Asperger's. My, well, my Asperger's. I'm a, personally, I'm okay with having Asperger's syndrome. And, um, I don't think it needs to be cured. Though, if there were such a cure for it, you could take it if you wanted to, but the state shouldn't force it on you. Personally, I kind of feel like my Asperger's syndrome is a good thing, because it's got me to think about things that won't think. It's got me to think about things in a way most people don't think about them. I guess in other words, it's kept me from being a shallow person, a sheep, or it's gotten me to really care about things and take interest in things. Morals, philosophy, beliefs, world issues, politics, religion, anything I talk about on this channel. Well, I think it's kind of due to my answers and just getting interested in this stuff. Um, that's not to say that you can't be nice and have. And not, that isn't to say you can't be nice and not have Asperger's syndrome. On another note. And most people I met that were nice seem to have some sort of thing on the spectrum. And. I don't know, it sounds like it's kind of hard to find a good person to have Asperger's. But I can. It's just the. I don't know, hard to relate. I find it hard to relate to people. I, I told you the things I want to talk about, the morals, beliefs, politics, world issues, but most people aren't into that stuff. Most people are into very basic things. What I like to call basic things. For example, pop culture. People can go on and on about their favorite movies, their favorite TV shows, games, books, whatever. Go on and on about how the whole new movies coming out, new game or TV show, and that's interesting for me for a while. But after a couple, I don't know, paragraphs about of dialogue about, it, I get bored. I want to talk about something better, something more important, something more pressing, like the world issues thing. People can also go on and on about gossip about other people or celebrities or about their day I'm not trying to be rude or anything but I think that's really boring and when something particularly happened in your day I guess I'd rather talk about something that matters more rather more um I've had some really bad experiences with people Tell you the truth. <sighs> A few of my bullies apologized, but most of them didn't. Kind of, I was just trying about that, but I guess I just gotta move on. I guess the most important thing is hopefully you're not bullying people anymore. Because that would still suck. They be hurt. They hurt me, and they be hurting others. Then I guess justice still needs to be served. Um. So about me being bullied. It wasn't the most severe bullying, but it wasn't the most mild either. I'd say it's moderate in the middle. It wasn't cool. It was never cool. Um, one asshole he put a bag of chips in my jacket hood while I was using the urinal. Couldn't quite get back at that guy. I told the police about it. He had campus police on the James Bond High. They said he doesn't. He hasn't enrolled his school, so they didn't really deal with it. 
I found it's kind of odd that he's not enrolled in the school anymore, yet he's still going there sticking chips in my jacket. Um, one guy. God, I hate this guy. Chris Braswell. Fuck that guy. He bullied me all the way up into high school. And the time he bullied me in high school was very tiny. He followed me a couple feet. I don't know, he stopped. But still, in middle school, he tried to draw on me with a marker. He intimidated me. He followed me around. One of my other ex boys they were not stood up to him for me. He pushed him away while he's following me. So when I was getting ready to spin around and hit that asshole, just start punching at him. But I guess I didn't have to do that. Cody Susan, bleh, hate that guy. Um, he, he basically intimidated me a lot. One time he tap danced. Aggressive way to me a couple seconds when I was tying my shoes. One time he made me shake his hand. I was too nervous to back out, so I did it. He kept saying I did it the wrong way. I don't know. Too nervous to back out. Um, in high school, he kind of said some shit to me. Plus, he held the door closed. I tried to get in the classroom. Um. Message me. Um, well, there's this girl named Eliana Schmidt. Uh, Hold at me a lot. Maybe she grabbed me. That would be fun. Hmm. Um, so I guess that's all I'll talk about for now, at least about the bullies. I guess something that might be a bit more relevant. Hold on, I got something on the screen. I guess something that might be a bit more relevant is the times I didn't get bullied, but still had a bad experience with someone nonetheless. I already told you about Brooke Ford. Um, first couple weeks in algebra class in ninth grade, people would laugh at me for nearly every fucking question I asked, and I'm like, why? It's not funny. I mean, the teacher thought it was a bit funny when I asked her about this, but it wasn't really that funny. I mean, I just, and I don't mean that. You know, like, they shouldn't have been laughing at me way. I mean, they already shouldn't. I mean, I don't like, well, where's the humor? What's the punchline? What's the premise of this so-called humor I'm getting across the classroom? I just ask about... How do we figure out what X means in this case? Or... How do I convert percents to decimals? Or... What is this fraction? I mean, and people would laugh at me like I was some famous comedian. I thought that was dumb. So. Um. Um, there's this 
last song in high school, Bowie, James Bowie High School, named Harrison. Laughed at me before. That seems pretty rude. I asked him, are you laughing at me? He's like, I'm only laughing at you. Because the others are laughing at you. And I should have. I didn't follow it up. I should have followed it up well. Well, that's shit, too. Or you're gonna join those assholes. I should have said that when it was the past. <laughs> this New Year's a lot. This New Year, I, I just. A lot of people like them. I don't particularly know why, but I shouldn't be surprised. Better sheep or assholes like him. Or apathetic. Whichever thing things it is. I don't like it when people act like this guy is all great. Some other guy tells us about a bad thing that person did to them, the guy that's so great. And that person just shrugs it off and goes, goes oh, they're still great. Well, this poor motherfucker just told you about how he isn't so great. How this guy was rude to him that you all find so popular. And he just shrugs it off like his opinion doesn't matter. He's the minority. We're majority. We're the only ones that matter. If this popular person treated that person badly, then they probably did something to deserve it, or they just don't matter. They're not one of us, they're one of them, and we don't like them. So, that's another reason I get angry at people sometimes, like... I feel like there's a lot of social tendencies I really don't like that I don't think should happen. I feel like people are like bombs. You mishandle one even slightly, boom! You're gone, you're dead, your limbs are everywhere, your blood is everywhere, your guts are everywhere, until he blows up in your face. And I don't like that. I don't think it's very fair to anyone for people to be that way. I mean, you gotta be so fucking careful when you ask people. Don't talk about marriage. Don't talk about sex. Don't talk about politics. Don't talk about religion. Don't talk about money. Don't talk about race. It's like, okay, well, what's there left to talk about then? If we're even supposed to talk at all, that is. And if we're not even supposed to talk, it makes me wonder, well, why are we even on this planet together if we're not really supposed to do anything with each other? Can't invade anyone's privacy. Can't make anyone just feel uncomfortable. Can't force anyone on something. Not saying that's good, but I'm just saying, Seems like there's more stuff not to do with people than to do. It's like, you know, don't tell people not to smoke. Don't tell people not to drink. Don't tell people how to raise their kids. Don't question people like, why do you have two dads or why do you have two moms? Don't, don't ask a woman in particular, her weight, the, or, no, 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 age, I meant to say age, the weight is a big one too. Don't, don't ask someone how much they make with their job. Don't. Don't ask someone about, I don't know, sex life. Well, that one's a bit more understandable. The point is, there's really not that much you can say to people 
that introverted people such as me or like me get criticized all the time for being introverted. Like, why don't you ever talk to people? One girl asked me that, I was like, why are you so introverted? And I just couldn't answer her. At work before. And I just... Sometimes, introverted isn't something you choose, it's just a natural thing about your personality. You know, it's something you're born with, like being gay or in sexual orientation, whatever. You didn't, you didn't earn it, you just had it. it would, you didn't choose it, you were made that way. So, if there's not that much to talk about, not much to even interact with people, then why be criticized for being introverted? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's who you are, and it's not a bad thing. It's just a person. It's just a personal attribute. You know, I mean, like, if you're supposed to talk to people, but you're not talking to people, yeah, criticize someone for not helping out that much. But if you're just, if there's just not anything to say to really anybody, then you really shouldn't get that kind of criticism. And... I wish people... simply said no. If they didn't like something you said, if they didn't like something you asked them, Like, if you ask someone, if you criticize someone for smoking, they'll probably say, fuck you, man. It's my body. Or just, um, yeah, I can see where you're coming from with your concern, but it's my body. People just don't say no. They gotta hit you back. They gotta act like you're a monster and that you deserve to be squashed. And I don't like that. You know, all the more reason to be introverted, maybe even misanthropic, if there's just so much danger with being with people. Now, uh, I'm not trying to be confrontational. I never have criticized them for smoking or any of that shit. I'm not trying to be preachy, but I really don't feel it should be this way. I feel like people should be more pleasant to be around. I mean, there's so many people we gotta deal with, so many ignorant people that keep the bad people in power. And I don't think that's right. I think we should have people that genuinely care who their put not only who their political leaders are, but who controls society in general. I mean, it's not just the government. It's... You got corporate lobbying, you got growing capitalism, you got the businesses running society. They make the products and services. They're gonna have a stake in how well we live. And it's not right for people to just sit, stand by and act like, oh, that's the way things have always been. Oh, it's not that bad. Or, oh, it's actually good. And... It shouldn't be that way. I know I keep repeating that, but it really shouldn't. If I met better people in better places, maybe I wouldn't be so earthed to talk to people. I mean, hey, you have to spend... You have to spend, like, at least... 14 years in public education, forced education. You gotta spend at least 14 years going through that shit. Public school, dirty building, eight hours a day, mean students, mean teachers, bad work, dangerous environment. You know, that for 14 years. It's ridiculous. We don't need that. It doesn't, 
you don't break the best people in school. I mean, you don't deal with people in the best way in school. It's not the way to interact with people. People aren't their best in public school in general. They're, in fact, quite the opposite usually. Besides the bullies, there's people that are rude. There are people that will let you down. There are people that will betray you. There may even be people that boss you around, like for class assignments, class projects. It is not fair. I think, as a society, as free individuals, we deserve better than this. More freedom, obviously, but not just that, but just more empathy, more sympathy, you know, more people caring more, rather than just, it's not my problem, or he's not one of mine, he's not my family, he's not my friend, why should I care about him? And I say, well, look at it this way. If you needed help in a public setting, if someone mugged you or robbed you or tried to mugged you, mugged you, mugged you, mugged you, mugged you, mugged you, attacked you, tried to kill you, whatever, in a public setting, nobody lifted a finger, makes you feel pretty bad that no one was helping you. You know, you need help. And most people didn't help you. They could have helped, but they didn't. It's like, but you weren't part of their family, right? You weren't one of their friends, right? But does that really change the fact that you needed help? I mean, no, it doesn't. So I think people should help each other out. I did report some domestic violence on a couple at the bus stop, and I did report some fighting at a Wendy's, which got bloody, believe it or not. So I think people should watch out for each other, you know. It's caring. It's safety, it builds up a society's strengths, confidence, justice, whatever. It works. Well, it's good. And... I think there's a lot that people are going to have to surmount, overcome in the world. Cause there's just so much evil out there. So much. I mean, forced education, yeah, but there's also gun control, government surveillance, police brutality. That's a big one right now. Mm. There's discrimination. There's military industrial complex, pollution, crime. Um, corruption. Boeing. First industrial complex, crony capitalism, there's all sorts of shit that really needs to be taken care of, plus more. And that's just in America. This shit's all over the world to some degree. So, we need to get together and fight. It's the right thing to do. In fact, it can even be essential to our survival to have justice. If you don't have justice, then... You just gotta keep fighting for your life to survive. The whole point of society of a society is to make life easier, not harder. And I don't think American society is doing that particular goal right now. So these problems caused by other people in society which is supposed to make life easier in the first place. So no, society isn't doing its job. But society is reformed so people can have greater access to goods and services. Which will help, we help people survive of course. And while people have that, there's also many other problems. So that needs to be fixed. I mean, yeah, we got the spy woman, but we don't have, like, safety and justice that much.
So I think people need to think more because government loves it when you don't think. In fact, Adolf Hitler himself even said, I love governments where the people don't think. And that's exactly how we got in power, is people didn't think. Just thought, oh, the Jews are bad, they've been blamed for centuries at least for stuff that fucking wasn't their fault. Plus Hitler had some bad encounters with some Jews, so we blame them for Germany's troubles. Sure enough, you have the Nazi party rising up, and then World War II. Yeah. Um. I guess that's it for now. I've told you my feelings. I've told you I'm trying not to be so negative. I told you about what I thought of the world. I told you about some bad people I encountered, so. I guess that's it for now. Good night. Good luck. I love you.